Hi, I'm Beth Bierko, and this is my husband, Scott. And we're here to share a wonderful five-minute self-massage practice with you all. So find a comfortable seat. It could be cross-legged, straight out, could be on a chair. Sit nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath in. Ah, exhale out. Take your hands in front of you and rub them nice and hot. Once you build that friction and heat, take the palms and cup them right over your eyes, fingertips resting on the front of the skull. Offer it as a blessing to your eyes. Feel the heat. And then gently slide the fingertips down to either side of the nose. And we're gonna trace the cheekbones out to the side and down the jawline. And just do that three or four times. Might wanna drop the jaw as the hands come down that way. And then take the fingertips right up above the nose, right on the forehead, trace the brow bone and the forehead. Come out to the sides, to the temple, and then trace down through the jaw, drop it again. Next time that the hands come down to the jaw, see if you can just drop the jaw and hold it there. And then let the hands slide right down to the side of the neck and just take a few gentle strokes on the side of the neck, inviting the voice box to relax and those strong muscles that keep up the weight of the head. We're gonna come back up to the scalp and just with gentle fingertips as if they were raindrops, tap onto the front, back and sides of the head. You can start to give yourself a little shampoo, taking the fingers into the scalp and the hair and moving them around. Might even tug on the hair follicles a little bit to wake things up and feel all those sensations in the scalp. Find your ears and give them a tug as well. Cartilage, earlobe, you can even take the fingers and trace the little nooks and crannies if it feels good. And then you can squeeze the back of the neck with one hand or both. You can take a little squeeze of one shoulder and then the other side. And then we'll move into some gentle tapping. So taking the first hand with a loose fist and extending the other arm, tap up and down the inside of the arm. And then at some point, once you've done a few rounds, flip and do the other side. Again, for a lot of us, we hold that shoulder tension, so staying up here for a moment or two can feel good. And then when you're ready, switch hands. So the other one extends and we go up and down. And then flip it. And if the shoulder needs that extra love, take a moment there. Uh, and then just start to add that little tapping right across the chest. I got my mic in the way, so I might be a little loud, but you can go all the way across. And then let that tapping come up and down either side of the spine. And then down to the hips. Separate the legs and take it down the outside of the legs and up through the inside of the legs. Good. And then come to stillness and cross one leg over the other. Tap onto the feet. Take the thumbs and rub them up and down the sole of the foot. Maybe give it a little squeeze. You can tug and separate the toes. Some folks like to thread fingers between them and roll the ankle while you hold the other leg. Maybe shake the foot out. Good. Put it down and do the other side.
Thumbs up and down the sole of the foot. Tug on the toes. If it feels good, take those fingers and thread them between each toe. Lift the leg and circle it each direction. Shake it out. And then release it down. Shake out the hands. Brush yourself clean. <laughs> and then just take that one last moment to drink in what you've just done for yourself. Namaste.